And joining us here in the Go Nation, Andrew Martin, helping us cover the NFL draft there in Las Vegas. And namely, of course, Baton Rouge boy, the LSU Tiger, Derek Stingley Jr., set to maybe be a top 10 pick there, Andrew. What are you hearing? I see an over under of going in maybe eight and a half somewhere towards the back end of the top 10. What are you hearing? And obviously kind of get us ready for the big night there in Las Vegas. Yeah, good to talk with you, Brian. So I'm hearing the same thing that you are, that he is definitely going to be a top 10 pick. I mean, the guy has 437 40 speed. Does it matter that he only played in three games last season, obviously out with that Liss Frank injury? When he was on that national championship team, he had six interceptions, 15 pass breakups. The guy is a playmaker. He has NFL in his blood, obviously his grandfather, wide receiver for the Patriots. That would be Daryl Stingley. So Derek Stingley Jr. going to get taken at some point in the top 10, but I don't think he's going to fall that far. He's a playmaker. Teams need playmakers, and I, I would be shocked if he falls out of the top 10, Brian, really. Yeah, I, look, it's smoke screen season, right? Like, this is where you hear all those erroneous reports that end up not being true. You hear the Texans maybe at three. I think that's a little bit high as well. Anything else that you're hearing there in Las Vegas? Well, they love his size, his speed, his explosiveness. And LSU guys typically go in the first round, go back two years ago to 2020. There were five LSU players that were taken in the first round. And I can tell you this, Stingley Jr. is not the only LSU player to get drafted at some point this weekend. Neil Farrell probably going to get drafted. And you never know if somebody else just kind of, uh, you know, falls by the wayside, maybe sneaks into that sixth, seventh round, if not an undrafted free agent type. But, uh, yeah, we're hearing a lot of excitement here in Vegas. They've never held a draft in Las Vegas before for about 50 years it was in New York City they moved it out after 2014 last year it was in Cleveland next year it's in Kansas City they've got a red carpet Brian on the fountain in front of the Bellagio we are at the NFL draft experience right now which is on the east side of the strip the draft theater is probably about 200 yards from where we are so should be a lot of fun here I mean Las Vegas is the entertainment <laughs> capital of the United States right now there's an NFL team here with the Raiders so we're expecting a lot of fun stuff to take place between now and the end of round seven on Saturday right yeah. Do us a little favor. Have just a little bit of fun there in Las Vegas. I know it's really, really hard to find, but have uh, enjoy it with some work as well. All right, Andrew Martin there covering the NFL draft in Las Vegas.